And finally, for today's episode, let's turn to Michael Yonker for a look at Adventist history. This week, we hear about the life of Joseph Harvey Wagner, a man who dedicated his life to the Adventist church. One of the most influential giants in early Adventist history was born this week on June 29, 1820. As with many of our pioneers, he did not obtain much formal education, spending only six months in the classroom. But Joseph Harvey Wagner was an avid student of life and the Word of God, transforming himself into an active evangelist, editor, and the author of many articles, including in the Signs of the Times. In fact, he followed after James White as the editor of the Signs. Studying his way into the truth of the Sabbath in 1852, Wagner's interests evolved to span many areas of importance for the new Seventh-day Adventist Church. For example, in 1885, Wagner penned most of the articles in the first issue of the American Sentinel, which would focus on church-state relations. J. H. Wagner left a legacy of more than just theological writings, however, as he also was the father of Ellet J. Wagner, who, along with his friend Alonzo T. Jones, would more clearly introduce the theme of righteousness by faith into the church in 1888. Both Ellet and Alonzo were influenced by Ellet's father, Joseph. From speaking at the first Seventh-day Adventist camp meeting in Wright, Michigan in 1868, Joseph's passion for the truth later took him to Europe, where in 1886 he was the editor of the chief, uh, chief editor of the German and French periodicals, and where he was also present at the first Seventh-day Adventist camp meeting in Europe in the town of Moss, Norway. Finished the last year of his life in 1889, his book, From Eden to Eden, A Historic and Prophetic Study, remains a clear presentation of the Adventist perspective on humanity's origin and destiny. Joseph Harvey Wagner was born on June 29, 1820, and that's your insight into This Week in Adventist History. 